Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Outcast podcast. I'm your host, Jake Shelley. I'm here with Zach Ives, Whit Ives, Jack Salmon, and Casey Honingbaum. And today we are going to be discussing basketball, hockey, and, you know, the rest of the sports that are going on out there. We did a separate uh, football podcast in honor of the Super Bowl and Pro Bowl coming up. Um, today we're going to be talking basketball, and to get things started, we are going to be discussing the NBA All-Star rosters that were released. Oh, and the snubbery that went along with it. <laughs> the snubbery. Can we make that a word, snubbery? Do you think you that... Heard, you heard it here first. first. That's, That's a perfect time to say it. <laughs> the snubbery. Okay, well, these are the starting lineups for the... Can you uh, announce it like an NBA announcer? Okay, ready for this one? Yeah. At the point guard <laughs> position, from the Cleveland Cavaliers, making his fourth All-Star appearance... Kyrie Swerving Irving. I like You're gonna this. run out of oxygen. Yeah, I'm, just we're, we're, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll cut it down. There, there you um, go. So this, Kyrie, the only one. <laughs> this is the starting lineups uh, for the Eastern Conference: Kyrie Irving, Demar Derozan, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Jimmy Butler. That's the starting five for the Western Conference: Steph Curry, James Harden, mm-hmm. Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Anthony Davis. These are the wow. reserves for the Eastern Conference. John Wall, Isaiah Thomas, Kyle Lowry, Kemba Walker, Paul George, Kevin Love, and Paul Millsap. And for the Western Conference Reserves, Russell Westbrook. Hmm. On the bench? Hmm. 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 Clay Thompson. Sure you're reading that right? Gordo Hayward. Pronounce Gordon. (laughs) Uh, DeMarcus Cousins, DeAndre Jordan, Mark Gasol. Actually, he's also known as the notorious Mark Gasol ever since he did the notorious MMA, which is... Conor McGregor's uh, victory dance after he hit a game winner. We yeah, talked about I, that. Yeah, okay. got it. I do recall. And Donkey, Draymond Green. We had donkey. To, we gotta had to, say that for Jack Powers. He's not here. Donkey. He'll appreciate the donkey. Yes, so these, these, mm, mm, not a big fan of the roster as a whole. N- me neither. Um, we're going to talk about some of the quote unquote snubbery. So much snubbery. First, that occurred. <clears throat> there's so much to talk about here. Isaiah Thomas. Um, what? Not starting. I think there's a bigger player that's not wait, wait, starting. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Do you honestly believe Isaiah Thomas should start? Oh my gosh, yes. He doesn't even show up until the fourth quarter. 29 points a game. That's a lot of points. Six he, assists a game. He's not better than Kyrie, though. Yeah, he is. Mm. How? Kyrie Dickens. No, wait, I'm, not, Kyrie, I agree with you. 24, nope. 24 points a game. 5.6 assists per game for Kyrie. As LeBron did say, the Cavs need a playmaker. <laughs> well, we will discuss that later. <laughs> that will come up later. Wow. Um, if we just, if we just, if you just look at the starting lineups, doesn't the Western Conference look a lot better than the Eastern Conference? It does. It look a whole lot yeah. better with Russell Westbrook. Good. <laughs> that, that was aw- that was an elite segue right there. I hey, I tossed him the alley oop, but he and finished. He threw it down. Uh, DeAndre like Jordan Russell style. Westbrook. Gave him the AI step over afterwards. Yeah, give him a little Tyron Lue action. Yeah, by the way, Tyron Lue, you suck Tyron as a Taylor. coach. <laughs> <laughs> Tyron Lue, you suck as a coach. You shouldn't be one, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Good thing Jack um, isn't here. So, circling the point guard position for the Western Conference right now, it says Steph Curry. Who, hmm. Hmm. Type sure? Let's see. Can we? Steph Curry, 25 points per game, 6 assists, 47%. 41% from three. Hmm. Having a decent year, but not decent. like an MVP. Pretty sure his brother year. Seth has a better... Yes, his brother yeah. Seth. Seth still... has a better, what was it, three-point shooting Is he, is he shooting on the Mavericks? Percentage? I think he's on he the Mavericks. On the Mavs. Yeah, he has a better uh, shooting percentage than Steph, so that's good brotherly competition right there. But the man on the bench... Um, hmm. The man on the bench is making his sixth All-Star appearance as a reserve. Uh, Russell Westbrook and... Uh, by the way, Russell Westbrook and James Harden, if you didn't know this, the first players in 40-plus years to have a 50-10-10 triple-double. If you don't know what that means, that means they had 50 points. Yes, 50 points, which is half of 100. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, that means they also had 10 assists and 10 rebounds. And Steph Curry hasn't had 50-10-10 this year, and he also hasn't had 23 triple-doubles. Has so. Seth Curry ever had a 50-10-10? You mean Steph Curry? Hey, I don't mean his brother, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. either you can, way. You can get him screwed up sometimes. Um, Russell Westbrook not starting the All-Star game. Even even though he's averaging a triple-double. He's averaging 31 points, 10.2 assists, 10.6 rebounds. Having one of the best st- statistical seasons ever. Since ever. the big O. Uh, yeah. It's, what he's doing is 
ridiculous and he's not starting, which is ridiculous. Uh, yes, that's very ridiculous. To quote our buddy Boogie Cousins, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I like that. I like what you're doing there with the quotes. I was... Um, but seriously, let's talk about the snubs on this team. Obviously, the snubs that are on the reserves. Um, I guess you can make a case for Isaiah Thomas. Wet, I you, guess. Can make, you can make a case Over, for IT yeah. reserve. You he, can make a case for him. I would say he should be a, a starter over Jimmy Butler. I can say that because Jimmy Butler hasn't done a whole lot this year. He went on a stretch, but recently he's been playing poorly. Isaiah Thomas has played well the entire year. And I, I think I think probably I think that Isaiah Thomas should start over Kyrie this year. As a whole, Kyrie. Is I agree. Better. Okay, but this I year, can see that. Isaiah Thomas has been better than Kyrie Irving, and yet Kyrie's it's a popularity contest. It is. Knew this. So we already discussed this. Zaza Pachulia led well he was the second highest vote getter for oh my god um, this is for the western ridiculous. conference that is absurd yes zaza <laughs> pachulia like good joke guys congrats <laughs> zaza pachulia was second highest in all star voting um, let's talk about some of the players who are not in the all star game at all starting with our favorite line trust the process trust the process out of philadelphia Joel Embiid and Joel Embiid um, this year has scored, we'll just say, 20 points per game, 19.8 points per game. He's had eight rebounds a game, 2.1 assists, almost a steal a game, and almost three blocks per game. And he's shooting 47 percent. Um, why is he not in the All Star game? I think the All Star game is not always about stats either. Mm. It's about you know. The it's, hype that they yeah, bring. Popularity. And it's a popularity contest. I, if you guys didn't know this, Philadelphia has the best record in the NBA in the new year so far. They have as many wins in the new year as they had all of last year. And they don't even have Ben Simmons yet. So that's scary. They are turning it, could it only around. Get better. They are yeah. turning it, the, this that's literally they're they're trust of the process and it's working. It is really working. And yeah, and, I, and it's just the beginning. What's the justification for MB not being in the All Star game? Is it just minutes? I mean, look oh, who else is on this list. Popularity. If you're trying to tell me that, yeah, it is. Uh, Paul Millsap is not an all-star hype player. No. Paul Millsap does one thing. He gets rebounds and he scores baseline jumpers. That's what he does. He's a role player. He's he not is. an all-star. Well, no, he's not. Yeah, he's not a role player, but he is. he's an effective member of the Atlanta Hawks, but he sure. does not belong. He, there's not enough hype that surrounds him as it does for Joel Embiid. Right. Also, um, if Jack were here, he'd be having a fit if I said this. Kevin Love does not deserve to be. Kevin, L- Kevin Love does not deserve that. He, yeah. Now Jack would be like, oh, he's playing the best of your career. I don't care. He does not deserve to be there over Joel Embiid. Um, Carl and Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, well, gosh. yeah, but Carl Anthony Towns would be for the Western Conference. But good right, try, right. Casey. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's on me. Um, it's just kind of frustrating to see this, and I think that as a league, the NBA all-star voting needs to figure something out. Okay, but this is going on in every sport. In baseball, it's happened the last few years. First year, you had the Royals. They had like five of nine starters in baseball. It happened with the Royals. And last year, it was the Cubs. the Cubs. It was all yeah. Cubs. It's happening in the NBA. Football doesn't do that. Because probably and a joke anyway. NHL is different. Well, I, I is think... Is NHL fan vote? I don't know. I don't know. Do you think... Wait, wait. Uh, I don't... Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Does the, does the NBA, the All-Star game, does that have... The NHL, does it doesn't... Uh, have any impact well, on the MLB, I mean, doesn't, doesn't, anymore. Well, M- MLB doesn't anymore. Well, MLB doesn't anymore, so I feel like maybe that's why the fan vote is a, is weighed a little more heavily because now it will be able to be, you know, they had to take out some of those Cubs players that were in there, but I feel like now the fan vote, uh, the fan vote will not be as, uh, I don't know what the word, like... Effective? Right, yeah, it won't be as effective because now you're not... Uh, taking into account that whichever team wins uh, yeah. that yeah that well with the NHL All-Star advantage. game that I thought I found out that this is really pretty cool uh, the winning team gets a million dollars to split between everybody that's awesome yeah I don't know I'm and I I'm sure that like MLB players and NBA players as chump change be, to them well no but I'm sure <laughs> once you get to an All-Star game if you're in the MLB and the NBA, you get paid like as a you bonus. You do get a bonus, yeah. yeah. And you do get a bonus check. But or that's like I think that. that's pretty cool how the winning team makes a, a million dollars. So if you take a look at this, uh, and as we're recording, 
the all the NHL All Star Game is on the TV. Uh, you take a look at who's on a team and how many how many players on an NHL All Star team would you say there are average like on the NHL All Star? Yeah, like for a single like the Central team, how many players are on it? I think it was like ten? eleven. Eleven because they, they play yeah. three on three. Okay, so, they... so you if you just say ten, and you split a million dollars between ten people, how much money is each player making? Carry the one. <laughs> <laughs> I believe somewhere in the ballpark of a hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. Well, hundred thousand. <laughs> exactly. That would be exactly. That's roughly, roughly a hundred thousand. That, that's a lot. Give of money. or take. Uh, that is almost tripling what an average American. Their income yeah. Is. Yeah, but to be honest, these guys are making most of these all stars, if not all of them, already make way more than a hundred thousand a year. I know. I'm just and saying. If you go to the NBA, NBA, yeah. NBA gets way more than NHL guys get. Yeah, I'm just but. saying. I'd like to see like the NHL is just like okay and saying we're gonna give the winning team a million dollars, but the NBA is not like oh yeah, whoever wins, they're gonna get this much of a bonus. Uh, yeah, it makes it more it gives them something to play for if they're not playing for a home field advantage in the right. World Series or Finals. Yeah, and like the, M- that, you know, the uh, NBA needs more like the NBA thrives on hype. So yeah, like Duncan. Steph Curry his MVP year, the hype around Steph Curry being able to hit a shot from anywhere on the floor, ev- they everybody who was a basketball fan that wasn't a Cleveland fan bought into that. <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, wow." Uh and they were all on board for Steph Curry and now it's Joel Embiid. Like people love Joel Embiid even if they're not 76ers fans. So he needs to be in the All Star game because that's going to bring people in. Now I'm not saying if since Joel Embiid isn't going to be there, he's like people aren't going to show up because that's not the case. But if Joel Embiid is there, it marks the beginning of what the NBA can do to make more money. They're already doing a very good job. Like LeBron brings hype, but he's on the decline. I would say. I would agree. Yeah. With that. KD brings hype, and mm, I, he's he's on the reasons. decline. He's on the decline <laughs> because well he hopped teams and left. Good old Russ. Yeah. Russ. Well, do, do you think that, that brings that maybe person. like, and I know, forget about it <laughs> for a second, not even making the All Star team, but do you think maybe the reason that Russ isn't a starter is because, because I mean, people like Russ, but there are also a lot of people who hate Russ, don't like Russ. Yeah. Yes, do you think that's maybe bring, a reason? He brings the most hype in the NBA. Yeah. Mm. With what he's doing so, this right, year, it's with, definitely with this debatable. performance this year, he averaging a triple the double, the most his hype. monster dunks. Mm. I, I don't think know he brings. Well, I think the energy persona. that he the amount of Warriors fans produces. out there, the outfits like, that he wears. The NBA was a Warriors friendly league until KD came over. What? Yes, and and before Draymond started throwing his legs around, but uh, <laughs> that's right. and his mouth. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, Nonke. But I think if the NBA <laughs> wants to keep being successful as they are, they need to raise the the. I don't know. This is gonna sound awful. The most hyped players. To the surface, Steph Curry's there right now. LeBron's declining. Now they're looking at Joel Embiid. So Trust the process. Bring him to I the surface. I have a surface. question. If you're saying Steph Curry's there right now, would you agree that he should be starting over Russ? No, because we, what you just said, you just said Russ has a case for the most hype brought this season. Right. So, so you Russ would rather you would rather see Russ and Harden playing and have Steph absolutely. Curry on the bench. A hundred percent. Yeah. All right. That's, All right, that's so real. there's well, people already know Steph. Like, well, yeah, like it's Steph because already he, last two MVPs last right. year was incredible. Man, I mean, I mean you just have to you just I have to take into account that what Russ is doing this year is unheard of. I know, and but it's like hard. everybody yeah, loves yeah, Curry. Right. All right, so here, here's the thing with All Star games in general, though, because you either there's two there's two basic ways you can do it. You can either make the All Star game literally the best players in the in their respective leagues play against each other and make it mean something. So there's, you know... Yeah, but, like, in basketball, literally all the All-Star game is like, oh, here, here well, comes okay, a new player so, trying to throw him a lob. So, right, so the, so the NBA needs to just embrace, like we've been talking about, they need to embrace the hype aspect and not try to make it, even if it doesn't mean the supposed best players there, the players that the fans want to see. Yeah. That's how the NBA is going to make the money. Well, so you, but are you suggesting that the fan vote should be... Yeah, there's two ways you can so do you, it. So you'd like game. to see Zaza Pachulia start? There's two. I'd like to see the fan vote. If you want your, if you want your, if you want the fan base to continue supporting you, then you can't have a fan vote that means nothing. Even right. if that means you end up with Zaza His- Pachulia and Matthew Del Vadova. Delhi in, in the All Star game. It, it doesn't matter. That's what the fans want. So give them what they want. What about this? This is what I would say. What if you had the fan vote? The fans vote all the players on the roster, and then you let the coach pick a starting lineup. 
Sure. Yeah. Whatever. So that way yes. the fans still determine who goes. Yeah. Of course, no. with your Steve which Kerr, would still, you're still kind of be an issue. Four of your Warriors on the on the topic of that, that, Steve Kerr. Yeah, Steve Kerr did say that at some point he's gonna all play. of the Warriors will be on. The which board. is absurd. That's stupid. No, There'll be four so of them. And then he winked at the idea that Russell Westbrook would Please be put him in there. the other one. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it'll be Russell Westbrook, his old teammate Katie. No, it'll be three Steph. teams. There'll, it'll be three teams on the court. Like they're gonna have to bring out another basket for Russell Westbrook to try to score him because <laughs> Russell Westbrook will be like, I refuse to give the ball to anybody else yep. who's a warrior, but I also don't want to give it to these Eastern Conference suck bags. So I need <laughs> I need another basket to score on. Hopefully he just drops the gloves. This fight, Katie versus Catch me Westbrook. outside, how about that? <laughs> I wish you didn't say that. <laughs> um, Folks, there's going to be a blank spot where we edit that out. Should we, add, should we talk about more snubbed players? Yeah, we can talk about more snub. Here's, here's one. Now, Mike Conley is on the Memphis Grizzlies. Highest he, paid player in the league. He is the highest paid player in the league. What he does for the Grizzlies is huge, but the Grizzlies are on a great team, and plus... Uh, Mike Conley's not a really hyped player, to so fair, he, I don't think that he, he was, was the single. Series. He beat the Golden State Warriors in Golden State earlier this year. He hit that jump shot with like yeah. ten seconds left to yeah, OT. Yeah, well, okay. Um, anyway, um, Deion Waiters. Also anyway, the banana too. boat. Are you guys familiar with the banana boat? The banana boat is the combination of Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, LeBron James, and ah uh, yes, I can't remember who else. Anyway, it's just a. It's the. It's the picture of LeBron James and with Dwayne a, Wade. And Dwayne Wade. Wade yeah. Dwayne Wade. Yeah. And they're all on a single boat, and they're all having a fun time during and this off season. Boat means a floating banana. Yeah. So. Like a giant inflatable banana. Yeah. Oh. Um. So Chris Paul isn't in the All Star game. Dwayne Wade isn't in the All Star game. Mello. Mello. Who? There's a lot of trade rumors following Mello around. Um. Not in the All Star game though. Nope. Because he, <laughs> he's not going to be there. Uh. Here's one to talk about though. Rudy Gobert for the Utah that Jazz. Is an this guy one. can block anybody. Yes. Yeah, SWAT um, team. His uh, his fellow teammate Gordon Hayward, Gordo Hayward, is uh, he's on the All Star well reserves. Deserved. Yeah, you think well so? deserved, Gordon Hayward. <laughs> I do think so. Casey, you carry the uh, the bandwagon for for Gordon Hayward, huh? Yes, yes, I like. After it. he missed that half court against <laughs> Duke. <laughs> And okay, so poor guy, let him in there. He's feeling bad. <laughs> let him in the the man has never game. forgotten that half court man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Two years in a row, they couldn't get it done. That's just awful. Um, Bills went four years in a row. Is this finally the year that you <laughs> sorry, talk sorry, about that? Stop it. Uh, going forward, we're so talking cool. about hype players in the NBA. Big Cat is not on the All Star yeah, team. Yeah, ridiculous. I think that he definitely deserves to be. Yes. Yep. As at least a reserve, Carl Anthony Towns. Could who's starting? Who's starting on in the in the West? In the West, uh, the starters are Steph Curry, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Anthony Davis. Oh, Anthony I agree Davis. with yeah, I, I agree, agree with, with Davis with as Anthony. the big yeah, man. But, but let's take a, a look a at reserve. the bench here. Uh, DeAndre Jordan. No. Oh, um, mm. He shouldn't be allowed in the All Star game. Mm. Uh, Clay Tom- for his free throws. Clay Thompson. Hmm. Mm. Splash uh, Brothers come in pairs. And uh, <laughs> Draymond Green. No. Hmm. Yeah. Well, they didn't really call. There's not not a kicking category for right. the All Star. Like, there's not going to be an event where you can just like kick. It's things. okay. He'll just kick Westbrook when they're all in together. <laughs> uh, I do agree with Demarcus Cousins being in there. Demarcus yes. Cousins. Oh, yeah. I agree with Gordon Hayward. Uh, I agree with Marcus Gasol. I do not think DeAndre Jordan should be in there. No, so I don't think so. If you're trying to tell me that Carl Anthony Towns is not more deserving than Clay Thompson. Or DeAndre Jordan or Draymond Green, you're just wrong. Like I'll just tell you that to your face, you're wrong. Um, I'm just gonna be sad not to see him there. He'll be on the sideline, I'm sure, having fun. The camera will be on him. They'll talk about him being a snub. That'll be all high and mighty. But uh, kind of, well, I'm not kind of. I'm just super disappointed in the All Star selection this season. So. Yeah, what about Dame Dalla? Yeah, I thought uh, I, I thought did, Damian Lillard was deserving of. Of at least, well, I don't think I didn't think he was gonna be a starter, but I think he was, I think he deserved to be a reserve at least. So, yeah, um, we're gonna see how Russell Westbrook reacts being on the uh, the floor with a Golden State Warrior or two or three or four. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be at that's the same gonna be time to watch. Um, but uh, let's move on to a little more NBA talk. We're gonna introduce a new segment, which is going to be called. Uh, one word and one phrase. Now, this isn't all NBA, uh, but it is a new segment we're introducing. So basically what we're going to be doing is I will be giving the group 
a quote or a phrase and all members present will be giving me their response to the phrase that I gave to them with one word. So it's going to be a one word uh, answer on how they feel about this. Short, so the there are a lot of, uh, well, there's not a lot, but there's a fair share of expletives in these <laughs> quotes and phrases. So I will be using the word truck for the obvious <laughs> word. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just in case you aren't able to tell when you hear it. Throw in a duck every once in a while. I think that would be... Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a little... Okay. Uh, Take a lap, Casey. Uh, all right. So, the first phrase, or, well, in this case, quote that I will be giving is... <clears throat> is it a phrase or a quote? It is a quote. Okay. It is, we need a trucking playmaker. None other than LeBron James. I'll give you guys a minute. To think about your response to that. I don't need a minute. Shut right. your mouth. That's well, not that's one not word. One word. <laughs> well, that is one phrase. You, no, broke the, you broke the new game. <laughs> it's one word, one phrase. LeBron James, no, on the phrase. topic of the recent Cavs struggles, said, We need a trucking playmaker. Casey, huh. give me one word. I have a word. Ridiculous. Whiner. Kyrie. And I'm what? standing by shut your mouth. <laughs> God, wit. <laughs> Coward. Um, Jake, do you have a word? Or are you not no, I, don't, I can't okay, have sorry, a word. Sorry. I can't have I, a word. Yep, so yep, okay. we'll start with Casey over there. Ridiculous. Why, Casey? Well, they have, all right. He's, they have arguably, like, aside from the Warriors, they have one of the best teams in the NBA. They already have, they already, they have Kyrie on the bench. They have Kevin Love. Well, Kyrie wouldn't be on the bench. He'll be starting. Well, yeah, my bad. But, you know, Kyle Korver. Man, I mean, they bad. have playmakers on that team. I wouldn't right? say Korver's a playmaker. He's going to just shoot. Uh, he, he, he can hit yeah. some big ones now. Yeah, but is that a playmaker? No. Yeah, yeah when you need a three, you pass the ball to Kyle Yeah, but Korver. he doesn't make that. Anyway, well, he doesn't, well, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't create the play. Play. He's he's play. He's not going to draw the defense in. Right, Kyrie is. Someone has to feed to him. Okay, Zach. You said Weiner. He doesn't. He's one of the greatest players in mm -hmm. the world. He shouldn't need another playmaker. Sure. He has Kyrie. He has Kevin Love. And like we said, Corver can hit a big three every now and then. And JR's coming and back. And when JR comes Hype. back, he doesn't need another playmaker. He's just coming up with excuses because they're not playing well. Yeah. Uh, okay, Wit. So I'll, I'll let this one slide, but this is your only warning. Uh, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> That's a no final one. That's quite the response. I don't care how good a basketball player you are. I don't care what you've done in your career. I don't care how much money you're making. You don't get to decide what your management does with your team. Unless they're you're... your management. They're your boss. You're the employee. Okay. Suck sure. it up. Uh, Jack, your word. I said Kyrie because he has Kyrie, who is a very good playmaker in my opinion. He has some of the best handles in the game. Okay. I, don't know. I think they're just going through a um, cold patch. They do every January. I'm. Th this is... Something that if I'm, I just, I agree, come with, June, I agree with everybody. I agree with Ridiculous, Weiner, Kyrie, and Shut Your Mouth. Come because. June, the finals will be the Cavs versus the Warriors, and it's already determined. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's move on to the next phrase, which is, um, I'm going to have to use another fill-in word for this, but uh, <laughs> Truck Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to see you soon. That's coming from oh, Connor McNasty. Connor McGregor. <laughs> Connor McGregor. Connor McNasty is... I mean, if anybody has McGregor or Mick in their name. True. They, anyone can be nasty, I guess. Yeah. So. Fair, fair. fair. Uh, Conor McGregor said, Truck, Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> I'm going to see you soon. Thoughts, Casey? Please. Yes. Uh, go to wit. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> hype. Uh, overconfident. Okay. <laughs> There's a hype okay. in so it's, okay. it's one word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, wit, we'll start with you. Hype. Uh, I think it's all just kind of a marketing ploy. I think they're trying to draw interest, make money off of fans who would like to see it, but I don't think it'll actually happen. Okay, overconfident, Jack. I feel like if this were to happen, it would have to be boxing because Floyd Mayweather's not going to fight him in MMA. He'd get killed. But if they were to box, I'm very confident that Floyd Mayweather would beat Conor McGregor because Conor McGregor has never boxed. Or not that I know if he's UFC, which is totally different. Yes, it is. I think if Conor McGregor were to face Mayweather in Mayweather's field, in which Mayweather never lost a boxing match in his whole career, right. I'm pretty sure. 0 0. I'm pretty sure Mayweather would handily be able to beat him. Okay, Zach, you're pretty sick 50th. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes, as and as Witt just said, it'd be a pretty sick 50th. Um, but make it happens if it is boxing. 
Floyd Mayweather will win, and we can kind of get rid of a little bit of this hype around McGregor and quit hearing all of this, some of, or at least some of this hype that's being brought with the necessity, it seems, to have this matchup. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And well, I just said please, just for because I really would love to see this. I, I <laughs> second that. That's, I think this would be great to would. see. It would be entertaining, and I mean. Make a lot of money, I, too. Okay, yeah. I don't think it'll be entertaining. I think Mayweather will land a punch and knock McGregor out. Down. Mm. Down goes McGregor. I don't know, the Irish are tough. <laughs> no, but no, there's, cause there's nobody, I would doubt that there's anybody Apologize in McGregor's nothing. weight class in the UFC who will hit him as hard as Floyd Mayweather will. But do you think job. McGregor would just in the middle just like kick him in the face? He'd yeah, I, like, ah, screw I, I feel like I feel like McGregor is just the angry person, and I think that all UFC. I don't think he's angry. Not. I think he's just cocky. He's just <laughs> I think he's just Irish. The fighting Irish. <laughs> fighting Irishman. And on that note, <laughs> apologizes for nothing. Uh, <laughs> take this man with you. Apologize. We're, we're gonna move on to the <laughs> next. Absolutely. We only have five, and we're on to three now. Uh, about half. A tweet by Chandler Parsons, which was directed at the Trailblazers players. Uh, quote unquote, good luck in the lottery show this year. Talking about now, the NBA lottery. This was because the Blazers put up a gif of him airballing a three and said, <laughs> three pointers are very far. It's some, something about like shooting a three is a really long shot and it's difficult. And, and uh, Chandler Parsons said, good luck, si- good luck in the lottery show this year. And CJ McCollum, who is the uh, shooting guard for the Trailblazers, responded with a nice clap back of, we hit the lottery by not signing you. So, give me, give me one word, Whit. Clutch. <laughs> I don't even have a word. I just have a letter, and the letter is L. <laughs> Roasted. Uh, this is so much pressure. Uh, I had it, and then I forgot it. Uh, just say toasted. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, sure. Toasted. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'll okay. come back hard on the next Perfect. one. Perfect. All right. Well, let, let's hear it, Case. Well, come so <laughs> seems to be it's about the only W that the Blazers have been able to have this year with that. That was a that was a fantastic clap back by McCollum, but yeah, well deserved. Hmm. Sick of Chandler was, Parsons. Yep, he set himself up for that <laughs> roast. Yeah. It came. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, Chandler Parsons decided to go after the whole. The whole organization of the Trailblazers, and McCollum said, "Nope, watch your neck." <laughs> I don't know. I, it was McCollum just destroyed him. It's the L. Yeah, yeah. big win for McCollum. Uh, Got outside, called out outside of the actual win call. If they have another game, right. if they face each other again, it might be interesting to see if any of that talk carries over to the court. Mm, sure. Yes. Um, let's move on. I would hope so. Here's a here's a good football one for you. Oh, little footy. Eh? <clears throat> so Des Bryant proceeded to give his thoughts on the playoffs, and he said, quote, I'm not being biased because I play for the Cowboys, but I think we're the only team that had a shot to beat the Falcons. Thoughts? What? Dumb. Biased. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's Casey. You to do it. Dang, you Casey, that, that was, was good mine. One. Okay, well, well you, guys, you guys can share. You guys can share. Wrong. Wrong. He's wrong. Yeah. Okay. He's just uh, wrong. Uh, Casey and the, Zach, give your thoughts on wrong. The Patriots <laughs> are the are the only team that has a chance to beat the Falcons. I think. Well, obviously, because it's right. Well, because they're yes. the only but team. I think, maybe talking I think had Atlanta played Dallas, Matty Ice would have destroyed yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Zeke might have. Been eating all of them. No, I don't know. I think it's biased. I don't know. The Cowboys are just going to whine about the fact that they had the one seed and took all the attention away from the Falcons, who were the yeah. other team. And yeah, That's all I have to say there. What? I really don't like it when players and teams and everything say that we're the team that can beat the team that they lost. They lost. Just, yeah. Yeah, like, you, you lost. You clearly can't beat them. He's still mad because he didn't make the catch. Oh. By the way, it was a catch. <laughs> Okay, but he not, didn't make a football move. Let's, <laughs> next up. <laughs> we're not talking about this. Um, last one for our new segment, One Word, One Phrase. Uh, two quotes here, actually. Two from, quotes the first this from time. The, So does that mean we get two words? Uh, no. Oh, okay. You, <laughs> just you get one word. Um, so the first one is from Jimmy Butler, and the second one is from Dwayne Wade. Jimmy Butler said, I want to play with guys who care. 
and Dwayne Wade said, it just does not mean enough to guys around here to win. They're discussing the recent Bulls drama, um, which is surrounding the idea that Rajon Rondo called out the leadership of the Chicago Bulls after... Didn't that come after these quotes came out? Yes, it did. It came after uh, Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade basically said, well, nobody on this team is trying other than us because nobody really wants to win other than us. Um, Thoughts, Whip? Stop. Jack? Come back to me again. I need to think. Okay. Casey up. Rondo. Wow. That's, oh my God. That is a great wow. one, Casey. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a good one. Yeah, okay. Um, pass on it. I'm just... Distraction. I wasn't going to shots fired, but... You say distraction. Yeah. Distraction? Yeah. Okay, Whit, we'll start with you. Um, the Bulls are... Sorry. They're not a good basketball team. Dwayne Wade... Dwayne Wade wasn't going to save them. He's an aging vet who his knees will give out. Yeah. Rajon Rondo is not a good basketball player anymore. <laughs> his good years were with Boston, and they were his good years because he had people to pass the ball to. Hmm. Okay. So they they can talk all they want, but nothing can save them now. Jack. I think I said distracted. I don't know. I if you're whining and complaining about guys in the clubhouse, that's just, you're not... Well, not really clubhouse, locker, locker room. Excuse me. You're not, <laughs> We're all baseball players. You're not focused on the right thing. I don't know. Focus on playing the game and winning. Don't throw your teammates under the bus. Don't say that guys aren't focused. Don't say that there's not any leadership. It just sounds like a bunch of high school drama to me, and it just is stupid and shouldn't be there. Zach, I had, I had Rondo. I think Rondo said it best in that if he was playing with the Celtics... Or set it close to the best as you could get. If he was on, if like when he was on the Celtics and he had Pierce and Garnett, his veterans would never have called out publicly like Wade and Butler did. If you deal with it internally and avoid publicity. Yeah, I agree. And with like that. Jack said, distractions. Yeah. Because that's exactly what it is right now, and the Bulls do not need distractions. Uh, yeah, for a str- for a team that's struggling, the last thing that they need is to ha- now have external problems with the media and everything uh so okay well that wraps up our uh our new segment one word one phrase we're going to be doing that every week well we're going to be trying to do that every week um we're going to jump into our next segment which is going to be called who got the hands and we're going to be discussing the the worst of the week and it can be anyone or anything just has to be negative like really negative um so my uh, who got the hands of the week actually happened yesterday and it was Justin Bieber and in the NHL celebrity uh, hockey game he got smashed into the boards although after watching the replay he really didn't get smashed he kind of just got shoved into the boards by Chris Pronger who is a defensive man for the Arizona Coyotes and Justin Bieber got his face smashed against the boards and his helmet came up and Hooked him pretty good on the face, so he got the hands, literally. Um, anybody else have any? Yeah, wait, go ahead. Anus Cantor what punched a chair and Did you say anus? <laughs> Did you say anus? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, I just want I just No, I did not. <laughs> it sounded like I heard anus. anus. I heard anus. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, anus Cantor. We'll, we'll, we'll clarify that. Wit said anus. He said anus. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay, <laughs> anyway, wait, why why did you choose Because cancer? he punched a chair, and in the act of punching said chair, broke his arm. Oh, good job, idiot. <laughs> so, um, not only not only was he frustrated with his performance or his team's performance, he also doesn't know how to punch right. Uh, so, there you go. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, so, he got the hands. Well, he didn't get oh, the hands. He only he just, has one hand. <laughs> yeah, he got, that's what I was going to say. Jack, do you have anybody? Um... I'm gonna have to ask for more time again. Got to keep. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unprepared for the podcast. <laughs> Casey, anybody? Yeah, roast me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm currently trying to find something negative. Um, <clears throat> not really. No. No. I've never really seen who's doing the work. I know. Oh no. I... <laughs> okay, go ahead, I got... Jack. I'm gonna say this is this is kind of broad. I don't know. How... 
I'm going to say college basketball because I believe there is a night this week where the number one, two, and four seeds all lost on the same night for yep. the first time in I forget oh, how many years. Okay. So can we, it, it's safe to assume that the top five got the hands. Yeah. Well, Except Gonzaga. Zaga did not. Zaga is still undefeated. They have been giving out hands. Hmm. Oh, I got one. Not getting the hands, <laughs> but anyway. They've been throwing the hands. <laughs> yeah. So that those th- I think it was Nova lost, Kansas lost, and was it Kentucky? Kentucky lost. Yeah. Hmm. All on the same night. I'm yep. not, so I say they all got the hands on the same night. All right. I got one. Okay, oh. go ahead, Case. So it's a it's baseball, but Oh wow, baseball season. The top one hundred <laughs> prospect list came out yesterday, I believe, and um the Royals and the Diamondbacks did not, and the Angels did not have a single <laughs> prospect. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> that is very. I good. regret ripping you about list. this. This is funny. <laughs> so hmm. that that is they got the hands. The Diamondbacks are going nowhere the fast. Angels, <laughs> the Angels just keep getting the hands. Yeah, the Angels. <laughs> Although, yeah, they have a man by the name years. of Mike Trout. <laughs> he he gives out hands. He he does. Does. Yeah. The Diamondbacks <laughs> just keep getting reminded every time they see Dansby up there. The, of the now, however, <laughs> I wanted to be let it be known that Jack Powers said the Angels would win the West, right? Yeah, he's, I, I believe, believe so. he said that. Did he say so, that last year? No, he said he's, that about I believe this year. he said sleep oh. on it, uh, like he, he usually does. Jack loves does. to say sleep on it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, anyway, that's so a good that, one, Casey. That's, that's, our, a, good that's one. a segment. I hope, I hope we're a little more prepared for next week's podcast mm, when wow. we come down to do this. Just crucify me, why don't you? There's also a Duke. Was it the Duke basketball team who was barred from wearing their own? That's oh, a that, good one. That's that's a great that one. Fair. I, oh gosh. So, Wait. Oh, God who else? Got, yeah. Baylor got the hands. Was it Baylor or was? The, oh, this. I I think I know what you're talking which about. Which school had like 63 that was Baylor. cases of? That was Baylor. Rape. Was that it? Yeah. Oh, or, oh yeah. I believe it. Football, the football program. It was Baylor. an absurd number. Is that a time to just say like, bye bye? Like that is a you, six. Go serious. take a. Go take a. Lap. <laughs> or some serious need to happen about yeah. that. The number, yeah. The number, yeah. The number of like, that. yeah. Let's 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 try to avoid this. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I, you didn't ask me for mine. Uh, I mean, you who did, got but, the hand, Zach? <laughs> uh, I think I believe it was USF college basketball got in a brawl and had to finish the game with four players. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, <laughs> that's not necessarily true because if they got so the literally ball, they someone the got hands. the hands. Well, I'm, well, yeah, I'm yeah. sure some of those guys that got ejected caught some hands. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But, we had too many people talking at the same time. But what what did you say? I said somebody went down in the brawl. Yeah, so okay. I said so, if, if these guys get in a brawl, <laughs> some of those guys had to have got some hands. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just. So I guess it's not who got the hands, but like. How many people gave out the hands? Yeah, how many people were giving out the hands? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, correction, it was Louisiana Tech. Oh, that, that's a big difference and between USA. Well, UAB. Mm, UAB? Sleep. Sleep. Uh, close, close. Sleep on UAB this year, deep backcourt, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, right, we'll see you what heard they that have. here first. Oh, <laughs> probably, probably never hear to that continue See you in March. UAB, or Louis, despite playing four on five for the final six minutes, Louisiana Tech outscored UAB twenty to sixteen. <laughs> okay, okay, so UAB, UAB got the hands. Got the hands. UAB got the hands. We can de- we can determine. So that. many people were getting hands in this situation. <laughs> it's just like wow. All right. So I don't know if I've ever seen a basketball game where the team didn't have five people on the court. That would have been cool and to watch. Still outscored. That's uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look back impressive. and watch some highlights of that. Uh, we're going to move on to college basketball. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Gee. Going Great for, transition. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> early Final Four picks. Does anybody have Final Four picks early on? Well, actually, before we jump to Final Four picks, we're going to discuss uh, yesterday Kansas beat Kentucky without their starting center, Carlton Bragg Jr., Hands. who is being investigated in a uh, gang rape case. And it's okay. no, this is something we need to talk about because it's involving eight players from the Kansas team. Um, they're all being investigated, so if That's eight of them go out, mm-hmm, they're not going to be the second overall team so in the country. So think about if you want to put Kansas on your Final Four list, because <laughs> that, yeah, that was a good game, though. Kansas went in and beat Kentucky in Kentucky. In Rupp Arena. Yeah. They even had that boxing guy come out and be like, yeah. he, and he said, uh, what did he say? It was like, let's get ready to, did he say rumble? He didn't say rumble. No, he said round ball. Yeah, he said round ball. Round ball, it's <laughs> suggesting basketball. Yes. <laughs> Basketball's uh, around. I, I, I thought that was a little, little much, but that's okay. Doesn't really matter what I think. Um, uh, there we had a bit of an upset alert. Um, us upstate New York fans, 
We're what? treated to a Syracuse win. Oh, yes. State. The Orange Men. Great name. Super good mascot, it's actually by the way. just yeah. orange. Uh, Donald Trump is the mascot. Oh, yeah. Oh, my no, God. Let's not bring politics <laughs> into this. No. Okay, well, oh, I guess it's not the Syracuse Orange well, Men. It's, it's now, Syracuse Orange. It's just the Orange Okay, men. yep, their mascot is Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Back on to the <laughs> So Syracuse finally got a notable win against number, number six, six, Florida State, uh, who has a player by the name of Dwayne Bacon. Awesome name. Even better player. Um, <laughs> Any relation to Kevin? <laughs> 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 Probably not. Still to be determined. Uh, no. It, Is it? <laughs> uh, anyway, wow, well, Syracuse finally won. Congrats, Upstate New York. You get a, a <laughs> one notable win of the year. Uh, my Georgetown Hoyas beat two top twenty teams in the same week. They beat number sixteen Creighton, and they ended Butler's uh, fourteen game home win streak going back to last February, uh, and beat the Butler Bulldogs, who are number eleven the in the Hoyas? country. Also an upset yesterday, uh, Notre Dame went down to Georgia Tech. Georgia oh, Tech. yeah, and they ended on, on a – Horrible defense by yeah. Notre Dame. Game there, was like, layup. there was like a, a rebound, and then there was an outlet pass, and the guy just – There was like three seconds left, and Dave, Notre Dame just let this guy from Georgia Tech just get loose all the way down the other end of the court, full court pass. Wait, did you say Kevin Bacon earlier? Get loose, foot loose, kick off your Sunday shoes, right? Is that what we're talking here? Yeah. Foot loose. Dwayne Bacon <laughs> definitely related to Kevin Bacon. Yeah, actually, they look very similar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the Michael Jackson. Effect. Let's move on. Uh, Central Michigan's Marcus Keene becomes. Oh yeah, by the way, Central Michigan huge powerhouse. So yeah. watch out for them in March. Uh, Central now, Michigan. Marcus Keene. Just to clarify. Is that the football team that played Wisconsin? No, that was Western, right? That was Western. Those were the Broncos. They row the boat. <laughs> that is perhaps one of the greatest um, slogans or whatever. Row the boat. Yes. Row the boat. That was anyway, the, that was the slogan. Back to but Central. Central Michigan, not Western, not Eastern, because I know there's Eastern Michigan too. I don't know too. why they have so many Michigan. There's too many Michigan. Almost uh, like there's four directions. <laughs> what is the sorcery you speak? <laughs> well, but then you got Michigan and Michigan State, and there's just too many Michigans. Michigan's not even that big of a state either. So <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> Central Michigan's Marcus Keene becomes first player to score 40 points in four games since Jimmer Fredette. Uh, I think you missed a word right there. Jimmer. Oh, yeah, sorry. It says right here, Jimmer frickin' for that. There we go. <laughs> um, Jimmer time. Well, I know that we all remember the wonderful BIU, BYU run that Jimmer had. Big where time he, Timmy Jim. He'd just pull up from <laughs> Steph Curry range, I yep. think it's safe to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just before, before it was Steph yeah. Curry range. Yeah, before it was, it was Steph Jimmer Curry range. Just, it was Jimmer <laughs> it was Jimmer So range. Steph Curry really doesn't have his own range. He's there was a time, range. I remember there was a time. Where you, if you were playing basketball and you took a deep shot, you would just Jimmer. yell Jimmer. Yeah, I, I mean, I know that's how influential he was. So he, he's he was now awesome playing uh, in China. Really? And he's tearing it up. I think it's like the Shanghai Knights he's playing. He for. was on the Knicks for a little bit last year, but yeah. yeah. Yes. Jimmer is lighting it up. Hopefully, he comes back. I hope he does too. Um, I don't really know why that was a point. Like, congrats, you score forty points. Well, it's the first time since Jimmer for that. There's been a lot of good college players since then, and yeah. this dude's on Central Michigan. <laughs> well, look where Jimmer got. So hopefully Marcus Keene doesn't end up on the Shanghai Knights. <laughs> no disrespect to anyone on the Shanghai Knights. <laughs> if you're listening. La- <laughs> We're sorry, Shanghai. I didn't even notice it's Shanghai Knights. I think I, I, think I heard that somewhere. Wait, that's the movie. <laughs> you just did that song. Oh, oh we know Jan 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 movie. We have royally screwed the <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on track to college basketball. Uh, we'll go. How about the heels? They lost again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's great. Our, our, our last point that we're gonna bring up for college basketball is Gonzaga. It's they're the only remaining unbeaten team in, in Division One basketball. Their notable wins have been against St. Mary's, Florida, Arizona, Washington, and Iowa State. Do they deserve to be the top team in the nation? Uh, I would say yes because the two teams in front of them both lost and the team behind them lost. Yes, but you have to remember that... This is the whole strength of schedule argument. Yes, okay. Well, They're the only undefeated team in the top 25 right now. They deserve to be the number one seed. Look, this is... is, is, I don't know why this is a huge deal to everybody. If they're undefeated, put them at the top. If they're at the top and then they play top competition while they're up on top, they get knocked down. Big whoop. I don't think they're number. I don't think if it, or if they're the number one seed, they may get number one seed to the end. They're number one seed in the in the uh, tournament at the in March. Then they lose in the first round. You know that's sure. You're not as good as you think you are. You got wet swept by. Yeah, but they play in the Western Conference. They play 
Like, literally their so, only division opponent that's noteworthy is St. Mary's, and they're the 21st best team in the nation. We all know who came out of St. Mary's, don't we? Well, they did beat Arizona. Matthew Del Zova. Oh, yes, I did know that. Delhi. <laughs> they did beat Arizona, who is now number seven. Hmm. Oh, that's an impressive win. When Florida was, like, ranked 20. Florida was ranked when they beat them. But if they're unranked at the end of the season, it won't mean much. Right. So, are you guys seeing a top three uh, after this week being Gonzaga number one, uh, Kansas number two, and Nova three? No. Or do you see Cam- Kansas? This is, gonna, Kansas? This is going to be interesting be because Nova, Nova two. Nova just today beat number 12, Virginia. Yes. Which was a big win. Kansas just beat Kentucky yesterday. Number four. No, who was number four? And Zaga is, of course, undefeated. I, I don't know. Nova lost. And Kansas lost this week, but Did also Maryland they just lose this week. How many do Nova and Kansas have the same number of losses? Um, uh, they will at the end of this week, I believe. Uh, they each have one loss right now. No, who? No, no, they each have Nova two and right Kansas. Now. Nova no, has two. two. Oh no, no, yeah, you're right. Kansas has two. Nova has two. Um, uh, did Baylor lose this week? I don't know. Baylor's overrated. Who cares about Baylor? They were well, number one and they got blown out. And plus, out. their highlighter uniforms. I can't watch the game when <laughs> I'm when they're wearing them because my eyes. I are think. We That's could see story. Arizona <laughs> and UCLA jump up pretty Almost well, too. Oregon. Yeah. I mean, honestly, rankings don't matter until they select. Oh, actually, absolutely. No, if you were one of the top 64 teams in the nation, then you'll see how yeah. good you are in March. Because as yeah, we all know, so Middle Tennessee beat Michigan State in the first round. <laughs> yeah, well. And yeah, then well. Florida Gulf Coast. That's... <laughs> uh, yes, my Hoyas remember Florida Gulf Coast beating them. Dude. That hurts. Love Florida Gulf Coast. Love <laughs> <laughs> uh, City. That's going to actually. Do we have anything left to talk about? I mean, uh, oh, he wants to make a prediction of the four final, yeah, final four. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Prediction. Final four picks. Go ahead. Anybody? I'll I'll start it off, leading off and teeing off. Um, I'm gonna take Villanova, the Wildcats. They're gonna get back there. They're playing really well. Um, I'm taking ACC team. I'm gonna take UNC. I know they've been inconsistent and they have a couple of losses. They can put up points. Okay. That's my... That's no, I'll take your word for it. I'm glad you will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to say Kansas. However, if this thing that Jake was talking about comes out and a bunch of Kansas players end up ineligible, that won't happen. But I'm still going to... For the time being, I'll say Kansas. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one more. And finally, I'm going to have to go um, with... Uh, Team, someone give me a suggestion. Well, there's UCLA. FSU. No. Nope. No, FSU's <laughs> not going to get there. FSU. FSU can't beat Syracuse, apparently. So. Oh, Kentucky. Duh. Yeah, you think uh, BBN, Big Blue Nation's going back? I think Big Blue Nation will get there. Yeah. All right, well, Even that's your four. What, what are your four? Um, I'm going to go Nova. Uh, and then I think UCLA. Oh, I think, yeah. I Lonzo. Think, I think, yeah. I think the Lonzo ball and his... Can't sleep on Lonzo. Lonzo and his squad will take him to the Final Four. I don't think they'll get through the Final Four. I think they'll lose. But oh. uh, So we got, let's see, we got Nova, UCLA. I do actually, not j- now I'm a big Tar Heels fan, but I do think that the Heels will make it to the Final Four. Thank you. Another and again, like UCLA, decision. they won't go through the Final Four, but they can put up points, and they always play better when the games are... They count? When they count. Like winner or Always. Home. Always. All right. All right. Uh, that's just what Roy Williams does. Um, and then, final team. I think, I think I'll go with... I think I'm going to go with Kansas as well, barring uh, other circumstances. circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Casey. Uh, I'm going to go uh, UCLA. Um, once again, the ball effect. I'm going to go uh, Arizona. Ooh. Really? That might be clutch. Go Caps? A little bit of an upset. Uh, still going Nova. And last but not least, um, I'd like to see I'd like to see UVA try and make a little run. If they make it into the tournament, I'd like to see UVA make another I run. Think if they make almost the a lot for the tournament. I think, I think they'll, I think they'll the be the tournament. tournament yeah. I don't think Syracuse I don't think will. It, I don't think Syracuse now, will either. They better not be. Right. Watch Syracuse slip in there again. Watch them get hot again. And then make it to the final four. <laughs> <again. laughs> somebody's get, somebody okay. should put Syracuse on that list. Okay, so um, Zach, do it. You won't? <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> um, I'm you going won't. Nova, Kentucky, UCLA. And for my fourth one, That'll I'm going to go with Butler. Butler. 
Wow. Well, Butler. you know, if Butler can't beat Georgetown, then I don't think they're going to be in the Final Four. But I'll, All right. I'll, to be I'll fair, we'll didn't Butler beat Nova? Yes. They did. We'll see. We'll see. I Jake. think Butler might be able to squeak in there. I mean, it's obviously extremely hard to tell at this and point in the season. Anything can happen in March. That's very true. Yeah. Syracuse making the Final Four last year. Jake, any thoughts on Final Four? Hmm? Um, well, I think the Hoyas are a lock. I would have to <laughs> show them. Actually, I don't think they can make it. They already have like nine losses. So I yeah, think uh, if they Duke's win a out. lock. Uh, Duke Even is a, probably out. a lock because Grayson Allen will just trip his way to the final. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking Kansas. Somebody's going to break his leg. I'm thinking Kansas. Oh. Kansas. I don't know, I, this is tough. I, I it's hard it's now. Just it's really hard to tell. You can't Kansas? take a Final Four right now. <sighs> Who says not? Well, we do. Black Kansas, Black UCLA. Plus, maybe right. Kansas, UCLA. Uh, I need a Big East team because I think they're going to make it. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be. Give me the. I'll take Xavier. the. Savior. No, I'll take the Butler Bulldogs. Why not? Really? I'll take Butler. Interesting. Nope, I'm not going to take Butler because if Georgetown beats them, then. Uh, you got to pick Georgetown. Then I just don't think that they're going to make it to the Final Four. But the Musketeers. Okay, I got. Uh, this is my final. Kansas, UCLA. Gonzaga. Okay, I'm, I was going to make a point, but anyway. And one more. USC. Mm, wow. Ooh, okay. No one said Oregon. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking Oregon, Oregon came Oregon, in high ranked. Oregon got beat by Colorado last night. I don't think they're going to. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I was going to make a point on how it's interesting that no one picked um, Gonzaga, even though they're, we had a debate that they could be the I, number one team in the nation. But yeah, well, but the debate, Jake, then the Jake the debate them, ended so. with them well, being they, the number one team losing in the first round. Because yeah. the past couple of years when they've been in the one of the top seeds, they've made it past a round, maybe two. Well, that was Villanova until last year, and Villanova went off. Well, Stop yes. talking about that. They had the arch. And Ochefu. <laughs> Ochefu? <laughs> yeah. Jenkins for the championship. Stop. No. Oh! No. Oh! <laughs> We're sorry if you're listening with headphones. That's going to be extremely loud. Or um, if you're a UNC fan. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for our basketball podcast. Actually, that's going to do it for our podcast as a whole. We had an NFL podcast, well, a football podcast, and a – because, you know, I don't count the Pro Bowl as NFL. I, count, <laughs> I don't think anyone does. I count it as pickup <laughs> football in the pros. It's like gym class football just without the gym class heroes. Mm. Heard well, here oh, first. <laughs> I wonder who you heard that from. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for our podcast today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and listen. Um, we're going to be back next week with Super Bowl Sunday stuff. Have a good week.